Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about total mixed rations for dairy animals. To properly understand this, let's first understand the nutritional requirements of dairy cows. I've already talked about this in previous videos but I'm going to quickly talk about it again. So, your dairy cows need a balanced diet. They need vitamins to boost their immunity so that they don't get diseases easily. Normally, they need vitamin C in low amounts. Vitamins can be obtained from multivitamins. These are synthetically manufactured vitamins that you feed to your cows. Then you can also, they can also get it from green leafy plants that you, you feed them. And another important thing to note is that animals have an ability to make some of the vitamins. For example, they can make vitamin B in their stomach. So you don't need to feed them with vitamin B. They can make vitamin D through their skin when they are exposed to the sun. So you don't need to feed them with vitamin D. Okay, animals will also need protein. First of all, they need protein to grow. They need to protein in order to grow. And secondly, they need proteins to use to make milk and maintain normal body function. So proteins can be obtained from Lucerne, also known as Desmodium. They can also be obtained from sweet potato vines, Caliandra leaves. Then they can also be obtained from some of byproducts from sunflower cake and cotton seed cake. In addition to that, your animals will also need carbohydrates or energy so that they can be able to to energy you know what energy is needed in the body to be able to move about to produce milk and so forth energy can be obtained from pasture and fodder pastures refers to grasses growing around or any green 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 plant that grows around and you take your animal to the plant in order for the animal to consume for example if you have grass in your compound and you allow your animal or your dairy animal to graze that's known as pasture so it's a source of energy then fodder if you grow napier grass or maize then you cut it and feed it to your dairy animal that is also a source of energy or carbohydrates then cereal byproducts such as Maize, maize jam, wheat pollard and so forth, they are also sources of energy that you can use to feed your dairy animals. Then we have molasses, then we have root crops such as sweet potato vines, they also contain a certain amount of energy. Okay, next your animals will also need mineral salts mineral salts such as calcium and phosphorus and this can be obtained from pastures and, and fodder but you can also obtain them by purchasing a mineral supplement that you feed to your dairy cattle in small amounts with that in mind let's next discuss about dairy about types of dairy feeds in order to understand how to make a total mixed rations first of all they are Four amounts, there are four types of dairy feeds that you can give to your dairy cow. The first one is known as roughages. Roughages includes pastures and fodder. For example, napier grass, maize or corn that you grow and feed your animals. Then if you have naturally occurring grass that you allow your dairy cattle to graze, all that is known as roughages. So that will constitute the largest amount of, of feed that your cow consumes, roughages. Then next we have something that's known as concentrates. Concentrates are mostly made from cereal byproducts, for example, maize, maize jam, wheat pollard, and so forth. Then you'll combine it with something like sunflower cake and cotton seed cake, and you'll make you'll make something that contains a high concentration of energy and proteins and this should be fed in small amounts then next we have something that's known as supplements most of these are mineral supplements which you feed to your dairy cattle in small amounts then we have additives additives are 
for example, what you give to your dairy cattle to stimulate them to eat more and so forth. Those are known as additives. Then moving on to how to formulate total mix rations, you need to understand that cows will need different rations at different stages of their growth. For example, a dairy calf will need a calf starter. Then when you move on, it will become a heifer. Heifer is a calf will turn into a heifer. Then when it starts producing milk, it it's called a mature dairy cattle. So heifers mostly they are just fed with roughages. You don't need to add any concentrates or supplements because they are not producing anything. Okay. Then when a cow starts producing milk, it you need to it has different phases. For example, when it starts producing milk between day one and day seventy, you need to feed it with a meal that has a high concentration of concentrates and forages that have a high amount of protein. This is at a stage where the cow is trying to incre increase milk production. So you are giving it concentrates and increasing the amount slowly until you reach a point where it gives you the highest amount of milk. Then you will have different phases and eventually after the cow is producing milk for for 305 days you'll need to to do what is known as drying which we are going to talk about about later okay so that's all you need to know about making total mixed rations you need to understand as i sum up that your cow will need different amounts of different amounts of of mixed rations at different stages of your growth we are going to talk about it in more detail in the upcoming video see you